Hello everyone, Mr Pinks here. In this video I want to talk to you about coastal erosion. And there are four main types of coastal erosion that help to shape the coastline. Erosion is simply just the wearing away of a coastline um, involving some kind of movement. It's different to weathering because weathering happens in one place whereas erosion involves some kind of movement. You might be able to see behind me in the shot here some of the damage caused by erosion along the coastline where I am here in South Devon. And you can see that even the coastal defence that's been put in place there has been um, kind of overtopped by the waves um, during the storm. And these storms took place in 2014. So the first of the four different types of coastal erosion is something called hydraulic action. Now hydraulic action really is about the sheer force of the water um, just forcing itself into small tiny cracks in the rocks in the cliff face and because of the pressure of the waves compressing air inside those small cracks they get slightly bigger and bigger. So on a day like today when if I spin around on a day like today when it's nice and calm and the sea is very still there's not much hydraulic action taking place on those cliffs there you should hopefully see behind me but on a stormy day you'll find the power of the waves and what the, the kind of the compression of the air in those small cracks that's what hydraulic action's about and that means that the kind of the, the cracks get bigger in the rocks the cracks get bigger in the cliffs and over time those cracks get bigger and bigger until small pieces of rock crumble off the cliffs so that's hydraulic action the second type of erosion I want to talk to you about is called abrasion. Now abrasion is a it's a reaction kind of a what happens is the waves and the waves crash against the cliffs like they do behind me. Um, what happens is when they not only do they kind of have carry water, they also carry small stones, small, small pebbles, small particles. And when they are kind of thrown up against the cliffs they actually wear it away and wear the rocks away so if you look behind me you might be able to see that some of these rocks look a lot smoother if I walk down towards the the sea here some of the rocks next to the sea look an awful lot smoother and that's not just because the waves the water has been kind of pounding them but also within those waves especially during storms uh, lots of stones pebbles have been picked up and thrown against it so that's abrasion it's a bit like a kind of sandpaper type effect um, how abrasion wears away some of the rocks behind me. Thirdly, attrition. Attrition is when as the waves crash into the beach, the pebbles on the beach knock into one another and they become smaller and smaller. So pebbles get smaller as waves crash into them and they slowly wear them down. That's attrition. Fourthly and finally, solution. Now solution is just a chemical reaction that takes place between some of the weak acids in the sea and certain rocks. So limestone and chalk, for example, are um, examples of rocks that are dissolved by some of the very weak acids in the sea. And often this turns to see a kind of blue milky colour. So those are the four different types of erosion.